Welcome back to Warframe School. Our next stop is the mods menu, which all memes aside is the real meat of Warframe. Luckily, unlike what other players had to go through, the earlier players of Warframe had to go through, this menu provides a semblance of tutorial. So let's take a look at what Warframe tells you about its mod menu. In the beginning, it gives you an introductory paragraph, then gives a preface detailing where you install your mod, how you can skip the modding process in the beginning, and how you find out which mods are where without just just using the internet. After that, it breaks down your mod's portrait, specifying how to identify its name, drain, polarity, what fusion can do for you, what items the mods are used for, what effect it has, and what rarity it has. Though I will say, often is a little bit of an overstatement there. You will note that they don't detail too much about fusion because they assume that you'll figure it out. In all fairness, it isn't too hard, but we'll go over it nonetheless in a little bit. Before that though, it gives a tad more detail into the concepts of drain, polarity, and fusion. Pretty much everything here is core, so keep that in mind. Application of knowledge will help you remember the most, so try your best to apply the knowledge when you can. In the last section, Warframe tells you that through orcing catalysts, reactors, forma, auras, and stances, you can expand your mod capacity beyond its maximum level. It isn't as specific as it could be though, so we'll get there in this video as well. Where better to start than somewhere already mentioned? Fusion does use Endo, the currency mentioned earlier, as well as credits to upgrade your mods, like so. The cost goes up exponentially, so know that before you get started and excited. Transmute was not mentioned in the tutorial because quite frankly it is useless, at least at this stage. You can put mods of the same type together, four specifically, to make a new mod combined with some credits. With any conventional mods, this is not statistically worth it to the Cephalon. Seriously, don't. Do not. For brevity's sake, I'm going to put Cell and Dissolve together and say that if you're not already there, there will come a point where you have far too many excess mods, often copies of what you already have. At this point, you will want to consider getting rid of some of them. Selling mods gives you credits, though it is almost always not worth it. Endo is a far more valuable currency since it directly upgrades the mods you have. Credits are plentiful in this game, Endo not as much, especially in the beginning where your collection methods are limited. Next, Ayatan treasures are massive treasure troves of Endo, found through doing special missions for one Maru, found in her bazaar on Mars. Tips, in the direct center of the screen, are where you can sit and watch for helpful tips related to mods. Give it a watch for a little while, you might find it useful. As you may have already guessed, mods are sorted into tabs, which help categorize when you are looking for something or just browsing your collection. One tab of note that was a more recent addition is the Incomplete tab. This not only shows you which mods you haven't upgraded fully, but also what mods you haven't found and where you might find them within the game. On the right side of the mods tab, you can choose your sorting method within these tabs according to your needs, such as drain or alphabetically. And on the left side of the mods tab, you can search for a specific mod by name in the search bar. Now that we're done with the modding menu, let's go back to the upgrade menu in the arsenal. The same sort of mod menus and sort by menus and search tabs are in either modding menu, this way you can directly apply the mods. What's different here are the bottom tabs, but before that there is also a tips bar that you may or may not wish to scroll through down in the bottom right. Anyway, let's get started. The actions menu shoots into a sub menu that shows auto installation, upgrades through orican reactors or catalysts, polarization, and polarity swapping. The first three items on the list aren't mentioned in the tutorial. Orkin reactors double the mod capacity for your Warframe, and catalysts do the same for weapons. Forma apply the polarization slots to Warframes and weapon mod slots manually, which allows you to half the drain of a mod when applied correctly. Note that when doing this, you reset the item's level to zero and must be rank 30 before you apply it. You need all three of these things to ascend to a full-blooded Warframe, in a manner of speaking. Last in this submenu, the polarity swapping is for when you forma something for the first time. It just allows you to change the position of your polarities to different slots, for sorting purposes. Moving on, the mods button is a shortcut to the mods menu where you do everything previously mentioned in the last section. Remove all removes all mods from the current configuration, and tutorial is the same tutorial that you saw in the mods menu. That's it for definitions, now that we have a basic understanding, here's some tips to get you started. One. In the beginning, your mods and mod drain capacity are extremely limited by comparison. 
With that in mind, don't feel pressured to fill all 8 mod slots. 3 really good mods will do, like damage, or some version of attack speed, or elemental damage. In the case of Warframe's health and shields, 2. Upgrading your mods is a top priority since you can use one mod across all of your weapons of the same type, meaning you only have to upgrade one to full capacity once. 3. Forma and catalysts and reactors can be attained any number of ways. Occasional weekend events, rare alerts, nightwave currency, platinum purchases on the store, and more. More often than not though, they come in the form of a blueprint, which means you need to craft them with various rare er materials from various planets, so don't forget to unlock as many planets as you can. 4. Once you've expanded your mod collection and got some Oricon tech, maybe you found a gun you like and formatted it a couple of times, don't be afraid to experiment, or if you're not feeling creative, look up some good builds online. That's it for this class of Warframe School. Stick around, subscribe, Hit the notification bell if you are into this sort of thing. If not, move right along. This has been Cephalon Artie. See you on the next one.